Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Ro, today we are unboxing the Fairy Loot November box, which I accidentally already unboxed earlier. And let me explain. It came in <laughs> this gigantic, horrible looking, empty ass looking box. And for some reason I thought this was the November adult book, which I think I might have already received in November. I cannot remember what it was or if I've received it yet, but I thought this was the adult one for some reason. So I was expecting just one book. And then there was stuff in the box and I was like, is this stuff that, that, that I've like missed in prior boxes? So you know like how they send out single items sometimes from previous boxes where they couldn't send it all out at once. I was like, oh, is there something missing? And then I literally looked at every single item and then I was like, oh, this is the November box. <laughs> So, you know, we're having a time. Um, before we get into it though, I would like to point out that today, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I have been sponsored by them twice before. You guys know I love their earrings, I love their stuff. I have got three pairs of earrings from them. Had a bit of trouble with customs, and I think it might be because the first pair, which I really, really like, in fact, are the favorite of the three that I've got this time around. There's like a little dagger on it. Um, so I think maybe customs thought that this was something strange or maybe it's because they're silver and I've only ever had gold jewelry for them. I, I, honestly, I have no idea, but it said the dagger ones were the problem or something. So these are the dagger ones. How gorgeous and it's asymmetrical. So you've got the little um, drops there and the dagger on one side. Oh, honestly obsessed. Might wear them to my Christmas party uh, for work, to be quite honest with you, because they are very awesome. Um, I also got these drop earrings. So these are also really dainty and cute. Um, another option for the Christmas party, to be honest, because they are a bit cuter, but obviously with my long hair, it's kind of hard to see earrings a little bit. So I might want something a little bit bigger. Um, speaking of something a little bit bigger, in my ears at the moment, I have these hoops which are the third ones that I got. Um, these are my faves in terms of hoops that I've got. Um, they are gold, which I realise doesn't match my silver jewellery, but I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I could have picked silver, I don't know why I picked gold, but I thought gold looked really nice with these. I've never had hoops that you can put your finger through. In fact, I, you know, I'm, I'm new to earrings, okay? Um, and I want even bigger ones now as well. So if you don't know who Ana Luisa are, they are a jewellery brand from the US who are completely 100% carbon neutral. All of their jewellery is custom. It is beautiful, to be honest. I have fallen in love with jewellery just from them sending me jewellery alone. Got my ears pierced simply so I could uh, wear their earrings. If that's not a good review, I don't know what is. They're really, really great to work with and I would really appreciate if you could check out their link in the description below. They are running their winter holiday sale from the 6th to the 20th of December, so that is round about now. Would be really, really good if you could get someone something for Christmas or even just for yourself. I would probably treat myself if it were me. So check out the link in the description and let's get on with the unboxing. But it is cold. It is so cold. Um, I have not put my heating on yet. Granted, I don't actually know how to put it on, but <laughs> uh, I'm sticking with it for now because it's working and I am pushing through. I just had my exam today um, and it went really well. Thank you for asking. But I'm excited to show you off, show you off, show off to you this the stuff. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing. I did film one for Illumicrate in November, I think it was November, um, but I just ended up not having any time to edit it because um, exam revision. So the very first thing we've got is this little pin. So this is a spell book pin or a grimoire pin. Um, this is really cute. Designed by No One Designs. Yeah, I really like this. I'm, I'm a big fan of pins to be honest. Uh, I have quite a few pin flags. Can't really go wrong with them. Um, they are small, small item. Fairly really following in the trend of Illumicrate where they have not changed the price of their box but they have reduced it to four items that are gonna be higher quality. I say that in quotations because the aim can be for higher quality, but it isn't always. Next up, we have this absolutely gorgeous review journal. I actually really wish this was blank because it's so beautiful. It's like a lovely like cream color with gold foiling. And then the little ribbon marker is 
a really, really pale baby blue. It's really hard to see the difference in color on camera um, between that color and the ribbon color, but the ribbon color is slightly different. Is it the same color? I feel like in different lights, they look like different colors, but they might be the same. And then the like thing here is like a baby, it's like a baby bluey green. I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks different in different lights, but every page is the same and it looks like that. So you have a section for um, title, author, genre, release date, dates read. You can tick physical, ebook, or audio. And then there's just like notes. So the tick things are here, title and stuff is there. And then you can write little notes there. It is really cute. Um, I'm not a big, oh, and there's a rating as well. Oh, okay. So it's rating, describe this book in five words and then page count. That's at the bottom there. I didn't realize it was one thing per page then. So the, that's all down there. It would be the type of thing I would like to start using maybe in like January. So part of me just doesn't see the point <laughs> because I have it all on Excel uh, slash Google Sheets and on Goodreads as well. So I'm like, unless I have this every year, which I would love because this is very beautiful, but you're not guaranteed to have the same type of one every year. And I would want the same type of one every year to compare things. I don't know whether I should just pass this on to a friend, sell it or to keep it. Cause it, it, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, again, wish it was just like a lined notebook to be honest, but I can see why it is a review journal because it's specifically bookish. It's a bookish box. Like I get it. I'm not really begrudging them that, but I feel like it's such a beautiful design that this could have been, it could have been so much more, but yeah. Next up, I can see the tarot cards. So these, oops, <laughs> these are from um, the Stardust Thief, which was the like May book, June book. It might even have been like April. Oh, April was like Blood Scion or something, wasn't it? I don't fucking know. It was earlier in the year. This is from The Stardust Thief. I only know this because I looked at the spoiler card earlier when I was confused um, <laughs> about what I was receiving. Um, again, love the artwork style, um, but that's it. That, that, they're tarot cards. Then we have a mug. So this is a Kingdom of the Wicked mug and this is in their style that they've been doing. They've been doing mugs. I think they've done two or three so far. I have a... Daughter of the Moon Goddess one and a Bear and the Nightingale one. I feel like there there have only been two, but then this one, and they usually have like a little thing at the bottom. That's like the shtick, I guess. And then this, this is Kingdom of the Wicked. I really like the design. I like that there's foiling on it. I like the artwork and I like that there's a little thing in there. It's not quite central. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's not. I mean, it's not centered, but also when you hold it, it's not centered that way. So like if you were holding it, that's how you would hold a cup of tea up to your face if you were drinking it. It's not even like centered, like rotated clockwise. It would need, it needs to be rotated anti-clockwise, <laughs> but also it's not centered regardless anyway. So when, it, when they say quality, do not microwave and hand wash only as well. It's like, what's the point? Like, it's a mug. <laughs> Make it so you can do these things to it. It's it's a fucking mug. I'm a fucking mug for staying subscribed for so long. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. That was bad. I like fairy loot. Um, I do, I promise. But there is one more thing. I think it's this letter opener. So this is also a series of things they're doing, which I don't like um, because they're just tiny little things that get in the way. But this is very cool. Not gonna lie, this is the coolest one they've done at least. It's got lots of detail on it. However, again, they've done this with every single one. They've got this party city ass jewel in the center. At least it's see-through because that looks a bit better than the other ones where they've had like red, green, and it just looks so cheap. It looks slightly better because it's clear, but it's still very obviously a plastic gem like that would be on like a kid's tiara you know that's something that's just like ugh, I just don't see the point and when they say quality like the metal feels so pretty solid so I can like I guess I agree there quality but there's a snake and a bird this looks like it could be Nevernight. I don't actually know oh no it's serpent and dove 
Eh, obviously. Serpent and Dove. Um, the Spellbook pin is just like generic witchy stuff. The review notebook... It says the review notebook is back. Oh, I might have the other one actually. The black one from last year. Is it a black one? And it's got red on it. Or is that the... that might be the, the from Blood and Ash one. I might have one of these somewhere. The featured book of the month is um, The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix. This has ombre edges, whatever, not a big fan, not gonna lie. It comes with a book plate, signed book plate. <clears throat> the end papers are really good looking, not gonna lie. But I feel like I recognise this artist and I feel like all of their stuff looks the same. It's by Carnemia. Oh, I don't think I do know them then. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. The end papers. Ooh, okay, this is the foil underneath. Orange? I get it for burn, like ones we burn. And then the reverse dust jacket, which I'm really, really happy that they've started doing this and it's actually a cover with, a, the, the, with the title and the spine and everything instead of just artwork, which like if you reverse it looks stupid. This is the reverse and it's black and white. So it's all black and white. And then you have the two girls at the front. So I'm pretty sure this is queer. Okay, so there has been a lot of uh, controversy, shall we say, about this book. And back in June, I skipped an Illumicrate book because of um, black readers and reviewers saying stuff about it. I was going to skip this one, but then I did see some more reviews from black reviewers for this one as well um sort of disagreeing with what other black reviewers had said about how it's racist and things so obviously black people are not a monolith there are a lot of different opinions and a lot of different um i guess perceptions of the way this is written um without spoiling it's not spoiling at all trust me there's a whole basically there's a storyline about the two the black i think twins maybe brother and sister so there's a there's a black girl there um and then a black guy there who are i think the prince and princess this is me like i have not read the synopsis and some people were concerned that there was um almost like the reverse racism or reverse uh what's it called oppression trope so like how when they put like in a book or a movie or whatever when they put black people in charge and they're oppressing white people and then it looks like they're trying to get sympathy for white people and it's just like it leaves like a bad taste in your mouth and it's just a bit like mm, that's just not how it works because it's just never happened like that way so that was the thing that i saw if anyone has any further links or knows anything further about this please let me know but i did see lots and lots of different viewpoints all from black reviewers about this so i thought i would give it a go but keeping in mind that some black reviewers had said that there was certain problematic things in the text um i do know that the author is jewish I'm pretty sure. It doesn't actually say in her author bio, but I used to follow her on Instagram, not Instagram. I used to follow her on Twitter. I did unfollow her when the whole thing happened because I was just a bit like, oh, I don't really want to be following someone like that. But then obviously lots of things have been said and yeah. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm reserving judgment, not that I can pass judgment as a white person, to be fair. Um, but if anyone in the comments has any further links, any reviews of their own, if you are from the black community, let me know. So I can't quite remember, but I will probably look it up before actually reading this. And also this cover sucks. And the font looks just like these violent delights and the whole thing, it just gives these violent delights. This cover sucks. Moving on from that. Um, I have cancelled my fairly YA box. <laughs> and I know there's clickbait in the title and I've made you watch all this far to tell you why, but essentially I'm sick of all like the tat that comes with it. But also, I think I really am growing out of YA. Uh, all of the fairy look books that I've read, even though I've enjoyed them in the past like year or so, most of them are sit at about a three or a 3.5 at most. I think these Violent Delights I gave like four or four and a half. But thinking off the top of my head, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Six Crimson Cranes, things like that, it's all been like a three. Like they're fun and I can appreciate them for what they are, but I just don't enjoy them. I feel like I need something a little bit more nuanced, a little more complicated or complex um, in my reading experience. And I did say at the start of this year that I'll keep all my boxes for the whole year. I basically decided at the end of the year whether I want to delete any of them. Delete? 
and too chronically online, get rid of any of them. And I've decided to get rid of the Fairy Loot YA box. I'm keeping the Fairy Loot Adult for now because I haven't really managed to read enough of them yet because I've had such a horrific year. But as soon as I can read more of my Fairy Loot Adult books, I'll probably make a decision on that as well. But I'm utilizing my skips way more. I've just skipped December and January for Fairy Loot Adult. Um, and my skips renew after February, I think. So I don't know if I, if I skip February, that might be the first in my new year of skips, which you only get four, which kind of sucks, but I get why they do it. So yeah, the Fairy Loot YA is gone. I didn't even try and skip stuff that I didn't want. I just, I just deleted it. I was just like gone. Nope, goodbye. Fairly Adult I'm keeping for a while. Broken Binding I'm keeping because it's still new and it's still fresh. Illumicrate I'm keeping because I actually do really enjoy Illumicrate. I've always been an Illumicrate stan since day dot um, and I still really enjoy their books. And then I have Goldsboro, which I am teetering on the edge of cancelling because their customer service has gone to shit and the picks they're not really doing it for me. Um, Ordinary Monsters I read recently was like a three, two and a half star. I I'm utilizing my skips first. I've just skipped December. Uh, I'm keeping January because it's called The Tsar and the Witch and it's very much up my street. I think that's like the Bear and the Nightingale vibe. So I'm keeping that one. Um, and then after that, honestly, I'm probably gonna cancel it, but we'll see. So that's two out of the four gone. Five? Five, two out of the five will be gone. Uh, only three left over, but also utilising my skips a lot for um, both Fairly Adult and Illumicrate, to be fair. I need to skip more. Um, and Illumicrate, I might be switching to book only because I'm just sick of having tat in my house. Um, in fact, I've got a bag full of like fairy loot and Illumicrate stuff I just don't want because I'm not going to use it or display it, which I need to sell, but I don't know how I'm going to sell so much of it. But I need to figure that out, so it's fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me so far. Hopefully I can get a few more videos for you, up for you in December because now my exam is done. I can relax and... But if I relax, I don't film, I don't edit, but whatever. We're gonna try. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Look at this crab. This crab has names on it. These names are amazing. Who are these people you wonder, you think, you ponder? What possibly could this crab mean? then you should check out my Patreon link in the description below. Thank you so much, goodbye!